Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this, I'm going to talk about the always on display functionalities in the Realme UI 3.0 in the Realme X1 Max device. As you can see friends, right now I'm trying to use the Realme X1 Max with the trial version of the Realme UI 3.0 and Android 12 update as well in this device. As you can clearly see let's see after this update how is the always on display functionalities in these features what are the features it does include in this phone that's what i'm going to demonstrate in the realme x and max device so in case if you're watching this uh, video for the first time make sure you hit that subscribe and also follow the playlist for the realme x and max playlist where you can actually get a lot of more information about the realme x and max device even there's a playlist for the realme ui 3.0 as well so make sure to follow those playlists for more information on this realme ui feature so first let's go to the personalization option and click on always on display so let's enable the always on display and the first thing is that you do get the option which is the power saving mode power saving schedule and all day mode it's available and next you can actually adjust the time as well so if you want you can disable the time date and battery you can just keep the time simply alone as you can see apart from that you can actually keep the date or maybe battery and notifications so you can actually manage those things and apart from that we do have the i think one two three so four different so four different uh, customizable options you are having here as you can see so first let's explore one by one so first is a pattern type of customization so you can actually design different different kind of shapes so let me to clear as you can see friends how it is in terms of the customization option so these are the customization will be there in the as you can see and next is the text option which you are having at this moment so i take guru and next is text and the image so both you can actually add at same time that's also option available at this moment not bad so let me zoom in my friend cam that's also another thing as you can see and you can actually decrease the round as you can see round you can actually make the round or maybe squared or something somewhere around that as you can see so that's also fantastic friends this kind of option customization option that's pretty good that very good customization i did like this kind of feature especially and next once after you do that and next click apply done final thing is also another uh, most important thing which is a portrait kind of thing which is quite similar to the previous uh, phones which we did see previously so right now you need to select one of the image from the gallery and then it will try to automatically generate Right now, as you can see, friends, based on this image, it did generate, right? So right now, you can actually adjust the different different colors for the notification as well. Apply original image to the home screen and lock screen if you want. You can enable that, or maybe if you want, you can disable that as well. But overall, this is how the lock screen looks like in the Realme UI 3.0, as you can see. Not bad, not bad. You got in the Realme UI 3.0, and apart from that, we do add the digital clocks up to 15 digital clocks, analog clocks up to 10 analog clocks, and uh, Realme type of animation as you can see we are getting four different ones and next is the image next is little bit kind of live it feels but it's not that live uh, feeling we do get normally that's something you should understand here so this is a quick walkthrough about the always on display functionality in the realme x and max device after the recent android 12 update let me know in the comments below friends what feature is your favorite one for me the favorite thing is a portrait one and even this realme is also good looking one like it's kind of really cute and small that's what i did like as well you got in the always on display as you can see this is how the interface looks like not bad so that's it friends thank you for watching straight up more updates and don't forget to follow the realme ui 3.0 playlist or maybe realme x max playlist either of this one playlist you can actually follow to get more information so meanwhile signing off friends and then stay tuned bye